Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to run Mac on your Windows. The process is very simple and there's no cost to it. It's free of charge and it works on all Mac, Air, Pro, and even the iMac. So yeah, let's get started. So using this process, you're able to have Windows and Mac running on the same computer. And I'm quickly gonna switch to my Mac setup. And the entire process is very simple and very easy to do. If you're on the newer Macs, it's even easier. Apple makes it really easy to install Windows on the new Mac. For this Mac, I don't even need an external USB. But if you are on older Mac, you will need an external USB. I recommend at least 16 GB and you only need it just for installation. Once the window is installed, you no longer need the USB. So you can reformat and use it however you want. So in this video, I'll cover both ways of doing things. So even if you have an older Mac and even if you have the newer Mac, you should be able to follow this video and have Windows installed on your computer within half an hour. All right, so to get started, the only thing we need to download is our Windows ISO file. And this is my older video where I have all the links and I will also have the links in this video description. So you can download Windows 10 ISO file or you can download Windows 7 ISO file. I'm gonna go ahead and download Windows 10 and you'll see a short advertisement, just skip through the advertisement and you should land on this website. Once you're here, I'm just gonna close out of this. We're gonna download Windows 10, click confirm and let's choose English, confirm once again. Now we're gonna download 64 bit and I already have the file downloaded so I'm gonna stop this one and and once you have it downloaded, I recommend you move it to your desktop, it just makes the entire process much easier. Alright, so once you have the ISO file downloaded, most of our work is almost done here. So right now I have the windows already installed on my computer, so I'm going to uninstall that. And to do that, I'm going to go into Disk Utility, click on Apple, click on Partition, and here is the Bootcamp Partition. So I'm going to click this minus sign right here click apply and that will delete the windows partition on my computer and the other way of doing this is going into bootcamp click continue and click restore right here enter a password and it will restore their entire operating system to mac all right so the partition has been removed so the windows partition from my computer is now gone and I'm gonna close everything up and i'm gonna open bootcamp and now i can get started with a fresh installation of windows 10. So click continue and from here you can select how much partition you want to be for Windows and how much you want for Mac. So if you want to download games on your Windows, I recommend at least 100 GB because if you're downloading something like GTA 5 on your computer, that's like 80 GB itself. So I recommend at least 100 GB. Go a little bit more if you can. But for this video, I'm going to go exactly 100. Let's do it 110. And... You, and you can see it already chose my ISO file because it was on my desktop. But if it, for some reason it doesn't choose it for you, just click on choose. And from there you can choose the ISO file we just downloaded. And for me, I'm just going to click install. But if you're on an older computer, it will ask you to install the USB drive. So, so right now is the time to plug in the USB drive and then click install. And then it will create the partition on your USB drive. So I'm going to click install right here. Continue on battery and this entire process takes about five minutes So after five minutes the computer will automatically restart and it will restart to Windows operating system All right, so we're almost done. It's gonna ask you for your password in my case I can use my touch ID and our computer restarts right away now I'm not gonna do anything and the computer will automatically restart to Windows operating system So this is the case for me, but if you're on an older Mac or an older iMac you'll need to press your option key in order to boot up Windows operating system. So basically with your USB plugged in, just when your computer starts, hold the option key and continue to hold it and you'll see a screen pop up. And from there you can select your Windows and then click enter and then continue. And after that, the process is the same once again. All right, so now it's just a matter of going through the installation process. So click next. So it's gonna ask you for activation key, but we don't have an activation key and we don't need an activation key. So we're just gonna click on, I don't have a product key. Click on that and that will still let you continue. So without the activation key, you can still use Windows. You can still do everything. You're just not able to customize your Windows. So you're not able to change your background and all that. But other than that, you're able to fully use your Windows operating system for as long as you want. So this is not a trial period or anything like that. You can use it for as long as you want. So from here, we can choose to install Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 Home. Click on Next. 
and it will start the installation process. Now if you're on an Ultra Mac and you have a USB plug then you'll have another step you need to go through and that's basically where you'll have to select the partition you want to install the windows on. So it's usually the last partition you have and it's usually the fourth partition but you'll be able to tell if it's the right partition by looking at the amount of space that's in the partition. So if you selected 100 GB for your Windows partition, go ahead and find the partition that has 100 GB and it's usually the last ones. And from there, just click on the partition and click install. So that way you're telling Windows to install on that specific partition. And so in that process, you need to be a little bit more careful because you don't want to install Windows on the wrong partition. So my computer just restarted and is getting ready to install Windows right now. So again, if you're installing Windows using a USB on an older Mac and your computer restarts once again, it'll log you back into Mac. So if you log into Mac, just shut your computer down, restart it, hold the option key once again and select the window partition. Because if you don't select the window partition, it's going to boot to Mac as default. But in some cases, it does change the default setting to Windows. So by default, if you turn on the power button, it will launch Windows every single time. And I'll show you guys how you can change that later on this video. But for now, let's go to the installation. Alright, so select the region. And now it'll ask you to connect to a network. But we won't be able to connect to a network because our drivers are not loaded. So click skip for now. But once we install all our drivers, we'll be able to connect to the internet, we'll be able to use our speakers, our external ports, the backlit keyboard, touchpad, and everything. And this is a privacy setting, you can go through this and change anything if you want to. I'm just going to change relevant ads and speed recognition. Alright, so Windows ready to go and as soon as you log in, you'll see this application right here. And this is gonna help us install all our drivers so our backlit keyboard, our external ports and everything else works. So click on next, click accept, install and that's about it. It's gonna do everything else for you and after that we'll be able to connect to the internet, we'll be able to use our speakers, we'll be able to change our brightness and everything else. Without installing this, you won't be able to do any of that. So make sure you don't close out of this and make sure you install this first thing in the place. And this process is exactly the same even if you're on the older Macs. Alright, so once it's finished, it's gonna ask you to restart your computer. So I'm gonna click finish and we're gonna restart our computer right away. Alright, so our Windows is ready to go. All our drivers are installed. We can connect to Wi-Fi. Our backlit keyboard is working. Our touch bar is working and everything is all set. So we're gonna go ahead, connect to Wi-Fi first of all. Alright, so once we're connected to internet and everything is ready to go, I recommend going into settings. And from here, and check for updates and install any updates that are needed. But once you have all of that, Windows is ready to go and you can log into Windows and you can log into Mac whenever you want. Now, if you want to switch to Mac at whenever time, there's two ways of doing it. You can go here, click on Bootcamp and click on Restart in Mac OS. So once you click on that, your computer is going to shut down and it's going to restart into Mac operating system. The other way of doing this is going into here and click on shut down and then once you log back in, click on option and then log back into Mac. So I'm going to restart it instead and as soon as the computer comes back up, I'm going to hold the option key. And here you can see Windows and Mac. So, so if I click on here, it's going to boot up Mac and if I click on here, it's going to boot up Windows. So I'm going to boot up Mac right now. So we have both operating systems running on the same computer. Alright, so now we're back on Mac. And now, as I said, if you're on a, the newer Macs and you install Windows, it will change your default setting to Windows. So whenever you power on your computer, it's going to boot up Windows first of all. But if you're on an older computer, it's going to boot up Mac for you. So you can change that and you can customize it to what you want by going into System Preferences, going into Startup Disk, enter your password, and from here you can choose the startup disk. So just click on your startup disk and click restart and that will be your startup disk from th there on. So yeah guys, your Windows and Mac are both ready to go. You can install games and play all the games you want on your Windows operating system and come back on Mac whenever you want.
And yeah guys that was it for today, if you liked this video let me know in a comment down below. I also recently tried to install Windows using an external USB which worked fine but the downfall with that is you're not able to play games because the speeds are very slow. But if you guys are still interested in seeing a video like that let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and in a comment down below. But for now that will be it, if you haven't subscribed to Royal Tech I recommend subscribing to Royal Tech and as always thanks for watching.